And speaking of food, well, you may think that raw food diets are a bit of a fad, but our natural health guest today has a compelling story about how they've improved her health and how they could improve yours as well. The founder of Little Bird Organics, Megan May, is here. Good morning, Megan. Oh, good morning, Mel. Really nice to have you in the studio. Um, so why did you start investigating raw organic food? What happened? So I'd been sick for some time. Um, I'd had really bad adrenal fatigue, hormonal problems. I'd had melanoma. I was sort of in my mid-twenties and my body was sort of a mess. Wow. Um, I'd been chefing and working crazy hours and um, yeah, just sort of wrecking myself. Um, and it wasn't until I started adding more raw foods and I was eating healthy and I was seeing lots of different um, doctors and specialists mm -hmm. and, and all sorts. And, and, I um, saw these people talking about raw foods and it was kind of extreme, but um, I took a few notes from it and I just started adding in more green juices and green smoothies and gradually um, I sort of saw my health regain and it got better and better and better. So it um, made a big difference for you, Yeah, obviously. it made a massive difference to my health. Okay. Um, so I was, I was kind of hooked. And you're spreading the word and uh, telling spreading everybody how word. incredible it is. So we're going to make something today while we're having a chat as well. What are we going to do? So we're just going to do a really simple one. Um, and it's just the idea that, um, so my philosophy is it's about whole foods. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't need to be raw food, um, but plant-based whole foods. Okay. Um, so eating foods in their whole form. So this is a really great um, snack or sweet treat um, in its whole form. So we're going to use um, beautiful medjool dates okay. as our sweetener. Right, already washed our hands, so that's we all good. Um, so what we're going to do is take out the big the pit, pit in it, yeah. in okay. the middle. Get that out. That down there. Was it hard convincing people to um, to join the clean eating? <laughs> thing? So I wasn't too outspoken about it. Um, I really just wanted to show people through get some baking paper okay. through how good food tastes, um, and you know, so people can have their own experience. I think as Kiwis, we don't really like being told what to do. Um, so you know, it's all about having your own experience and experience from it and, and learning. Keep going. We eat these dates. I know. I this. I know. Um, so I guess some people would have also thought that raw food equated to not tasty or flavourful food. Yes. Mm. Yeah. And so I really wanted to break down those myths as well. I'd grown up on an organic farm um, and grew up in health food stores, and it was really important for me to sort of yeah show people that it, the food I grew up eating in health food stores wasn't how it needed to be. Okay. So I wanted to... So get, what's this? So this is some um, raw almond butter mm -hmm. um, and I've got this one from Ceres. So what's so good about this, the almond butter? So it is full of really good uh, fats, um, vitamin E, really good for your skin mm -hmm. um, and protein as well. So it's a really good snack um, and it balances out the sugars in the dates. Okay, so you're just putting a bit in there. So what are we yeah, going to so do now? putting a little bit in there. And then I have made some, I'm going to use this little fork. Oh, actually, I'll just use my fingers. It might get a bit messy. Go on, you wash it, it's fine. Um, so I'm going to just dip that date in the chocolate here. Oh, yeah, and you made that chocolate yourself as yeah, well. Yeah, so I made this chocolate, very easy to make, um, just using cacao powder, cacao butter, um, a little bit of maple, some salt and vanilla. Mm. Um, but you, you can also... Just use a good dark yeah. chocolate? Good. So you started Little Bird on bakeries. Uh, what sort of feedback do you get from your customers? Um, people come for the taste of the food. Um, and when I first started, that was my primary goal, was just to make sure everything tasted great. Now I'm a bit more brave, and I have the odd thing in there, the odd smoothie that's really purely for its health benefit. What sort of thing is that? Um, like a de we do some detox green smoothies, which are full of coriander and um, grapefruit and fennel and... And blend that that all sounds up. interesting. But right, so what are we doing now? So now <laughs> now, now we've got you totally messy. <laughs> yeah. So then we're going to roll it in hazelnut. So these kind of taste like a Ferrero Rocher. Wow, um, that looks good. And so, it's really nice with dates. So you could actually just stop and fill them with um, the almond butter and pop them in the fridge or in the freezer. They're okay. delicious dates. They're all chewy and gummy. And you put them in the freezer Ooh, and it's yum. kind of like this amazing treat. So if I wanted to start introducing more raw foods into my diet or more sort of whole foods, what's a good way to go about it? What should I start with? I think you've really got to start, um, start with things that feel comfortable to you. Mm. Um, I think for me, starting with smoothies and juices or one or the other, um, oh, thank you. Right. Um, is a, you know, a really good place to start because you'll feel the benefits from that straight away. And, and also when it comes to sweet things, like it's great to swap out, you know, swap out your squiggle tops for... Uh, Something like this. You know. And get the kids started on it early and they won't know any different yes, anyway. Yeah, that's, 
that's the biggest thing for me now. I have my daughter, yeah. um, and she's just started daycare yesterday, and it's amazing oh, wow. what she eats. Like okay. it's, and I know that might change, and it's naive to think that she's not going to be influenced. But it's really, uh, it's really humbling and amazing to see how much they just want to eat. What Absolutely. You eat. Um, so these are finished right now. We just need them to cool down a bit, and then we're done. Yes. Yeah, so we just pop those in the fridge or the freezer. Yeah. Um, I really do like keeping them in the freezer. And then you'll have. And this is ones we prepared earlier. Yeah, Look how beautiful they <laughs> look. Hey, Megan, it's been an absolute pleasure having you in the studio. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking forward to trying these dates. They look absolutely yeah. delicious. Thanks, uh, And just showing us how easy it is to include raw foods into our lives, really. And for another way to get some fitness into your life, check out the Health Station VFit Special Cafe offer by calling the number on the screen.